sets and stack uh, for NFL Week 13. And um, overall, coming off a, a pretty horrendous Week 12, there was a lot of Seattle sprinkled into this these optimal lineups last week, so it just wasn't a good week. We didn't see Amari Cooper, Larry Fitzgerald really come into anything. Uh, the only thing really successful from last week was the optimizer being Kansas City, uh, and, and the tight ends were decent for their price tag. So uh, coming off a bad week, um, you know, I was personally wrong about Cam Newton being just a GPP play. I prefer Russell Wilson in cash. Obviously, Newton outscoring Wilson. Uh, so that was just personally my biggest failure of the week was, you know, using a lot of Seattle. So uh, looking this week here, um, you obviously have some big games like Pittsburgh, like uh, facing New York, like New Orleans taking on um, Detroit there at home. And also you got a pretty sneaky game out there in Oakland against Buffalo. So there's a lot of different ways you can go this week. Uh, looking at the cash game lineup, Drew Brees, quarterback, at yeah, 9,300, obviously a top matchup against this uh, you know, Detroit secondary that's looked like it's done pretty well late, but you know, facing Brock Osweiler, facing Blake Bortles, facing Sam Bradford twice is going to help that cause. Uh, Brees is just an automatic lock for you know 25-plus FanDuel points uh, against the secondary at home. I like paying up for him this week. I like that his stacking options are cheap. Michael Thomas, who comes in at 6,900. Uh, you're also getting a Golden Tate here as a correlation play at 5,900. So reasonable targets there. Obviously, the optimizer likes to go up and, and use Melvin Gordon, David Johnson as two expensive options. I'm okay with that, given the fact that there is a lot of value. You know, my one concern would be, you know, no Julio Jones, no Antonio Bryant, no Odell Beckham here in this cash game lineup. It's looking to spend that money on quarterback and running back. So uh, I'm certainly okay with that. Uh, you know, it does give me a little bit of an uneasy feeling in the stomach, but uh, should be okay. Brendan LaFell draws a favorable matchup against a, a Philly secondary that's been struggling a little bit of late. They certainly do struggle on the road, allowing about 24 points compared to less than 15 at home. Uh, so LaFell's in play this week. I, I like him. I like Tyler Boyd's GPP plays more, um, but LaFell's in play to kind of make this piece work. If you're looking to kind of make a different pivot, I think Jordan Howard's a little bit of a pay down option from Melvin Gordon. Uh, $600 difference. You can look to pay down to like a New England defense or if you want, or a Baltimore defense. I'm okay. Uh, punts kicker. I do like Travis Kelsey quite a bit this week. I, th- I think he's a cash game option. Uh, optimizer believes so as well. Obviously, you know, if you wanted to make a value play to bump up a, a receiver, you can do that. Guys like Vance McDonald, Zach Ertz, you know, in that forty-nine to fifty-three hundred dollar range, I'm okay with making that move. Uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty solid lineup. Drew Brees gives you a comfortable floor. Those first three guys give you a re- relatively safe floor. And then adding kind of the cheaper wideouts from that Detroit-New Orleans game, Golden Tate, Michael Thomas is fairly solid as well. Uh, and obviously, you know, Denver comes in as my favorite defense of the week. Uh, I'm certainly okay with the, you know, using them as a pay-up option. Uh, next one here, main GPP lineup. We're looking at Russell Wilson coming in uh, in a late-night matchup there against Carolina. Obviously, should draw some low ownership in comparison to one of their last week performance where they're often scored just three points. Um Wilson's obviously 7,700, a pretty good option there. I think this week, Carolina's secondary, not particularly great. Um, you know, I think in terms of a GPP play, he's fairly solid. I like him as a pay down option this week. Keeps the same uh, running back core, which I'm okay with. Obviously, there was immense multi-touchdown upside between the two of them. Uh, certainly two guys involved in the pass. Um, so it gives you a relatively safe floor and relatively solid upside. Uh, but we see kind of where the move has been made, um, you know, Russell Wilson dropped down from Drew Brees, Travis Kelsey to a Vance McDonald. That puts you really in a spot where you can use Julio Jones, who really is about $1,000 too cheap this week. I, I mean, I expect him to be, you know, around 9K. He's not. Um, good matchup against, uh, you know, Kansas City. They do rank, I believe I put it in here, um, fairly cheap. I think they're 24th against wide receiver one. So, you know, Julio Jones is a solid play. Uh, I do like him, you know, in cash and in GPPs. There's good upside. Obviously, saw Patrick Peterson last week. That's going to be, you know, a, a tough matchup for anyone. Didn't really come close to, you know, hitting any sort of value. Uh, was you know, shut down for that game. So, uh, expecting the rebound this week. A fairly solid core once again around them. I like Vance McDonald this week as a cheap option. Uh, took a couple of, you know, savings from Broncos to Chargers. Curious to see if Jameis Winston can kind of keep things going. Mike Evans as well. Charters are an opportunistic defense. They do like to score touchdowns, take some chances. There are some playmakers. Obviously, they've been good against the run of late. Um, so Chargers 4,500. I'm not really arguing against our optimizer's defensive choices anymore. You can certainly look for them um, as a GPP play. 
We get to the optimal stack this week. Brandon Cooks, who made a lot of people mad in the DFS industry last week, and deservingly so, played about 70% of snaps, did not do well, um, didn't see a single target. It was all Michael Thomas. Saw some Willie Sneed, saw some Mark Ingram. And uh, this week, I, I think it's a good week to go out. And I know uh, he's going to see some Darius Slay in coverage, who, who's one of the better corners. Um, I do like Willie Sneed this week as well. I think he shouldn't be a guy that you forget about. Um, but in the stack, I love the Golden Tate you know, correlation. I just like still having David Johnson in a high-powered stack like the Saints. I like Jordan Howard as kind of the, the pay-down option, Vance McDonald. Chicago's defense is a little bit banged up. Uh, you can definitely take a look at them. Obviously, Denver sitting in there is still pretty. New Orleans has the highest total on the board this week, near 30. I mean, they just hung 40-plus points on the Rams' defense. They're 38% of your salary, but when you look at it, I mean, it's pretty cheap in terms of uh, the wide receivers. I mean, those are valued wideouts. Good cafe value from everyone in this list. So it's using everything wisely. Um, and, and going to Jordan Howard against the San Francisco defense that's been horrible against the run. Uh, I, I think you're looking at a pretty safe lineup. I mean, this is even cash game viable for me. I, I don't mind uh, a same stack in cash games. I'm not particularly worried about Cooks dropping another zero on us. Um, I think there's enough rebound and enough, uh, you know, floor around with all these other picks to really make a difference. So, um, you know, one thing we didn't see here, we didn't see Odell Beckham. We didn't see uh, the Steelers in play. Obviously, Le'Veon Bell, Big Ben, Antonio, Antonio Brown, all solid options this week. Um you know, it, it really is focusing on, uh, uh, you know, the floor of the Saints game and also the ceiling. So I also don't mind Buffalo and Oakland. I think that's another game you can swerve to. I like Latavius Murray and LaShawn McCoy and Mari Cooper, Sammy Watkins, Tyrod Taylor. Those guys are in good spots. That's the third highest total on the board this week. Uh, so if you're looking to make kind of an e- even more of a swerve than some of these guys, obviously we usually keep the same core throughout here. Uh, I think that's definitely a game you can do that with. So. Uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out these lineups with us. As always, you can check out the DFC site. This article is up there if you want to you know, dive into it uh, and play around with our optimizer. We do have the free trials um, that you can use for you know the entire week if you like what you're doing. Um, you can subscribe to multiple, to multiple sports as well. Um, and be sure to check out the rest of our Week 13 content.